Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Kat and we're hanging out today on the balcony again. I've got a cold drink and the sky is blue. Nice cool breeze. It's just a lovely day to be here in Central Florida. So I wanted to sit down, chat with you and talk a little bit about Memory Maker um, because I've just, I've had a lot going on in my brain when it comes to Memory Maker recently and I wanted to expand a little bit on a conversation I started quite a while ago um, on twofoolishmortals.com. So uh, first and foremost, if you are interested in reading my previous, my previous uh, conversation, my previous discussion, thoughts even <laughs> on Memory Maker, you can check the description down below. I will have a link to a post that I wrote. I think it's titled like, is Memory Maker worth it? I have all my thoughts um, listed there on whether or not I thought Memory Maker was worth it at the time. But you know, that was, that was written a little while ago. It was written after 2020, after the parks had opened back up. So there's that. But I've had a lot, like I said, I've had a lot going on in my brain recently um, in the past few months. And so I wanted to kind of expand on that conversation about Memory Maker and whether or not Memory Maker is worth the money that you're paying for it. And before we get into it, I just want to be very clear that this is not going to be a comprehensive, like what exactly is Memory Maker kind of discussion. If you'd like to see that, please let us know in the comments down below, leave us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and it just lets us know that you want to hear us cover this topic um, and it's also helpful if you let us know what about the topic you want to know more about so we can do that and we can answer your specific questions um, but we'll just breeze over what memory maker is for the sake of today so that everyone's on the same page so memory maker is a package or an add-on whatever you want to call it that you can purchase either before you visit Walt Disney World or after you visit Walt Disney World. And this package, this add-on, is gonna allow you to have unlimited downloads of photos that were taken at Walt Disney World through PhotoPass photographers at photo studios or on theme park attractions. So you know how like you're going down Splash Mountain, they take your picture, that is part of Memory Maker. So your picture will be taken either on those attractions by those PhotoPass photographers, and they'll be linked to your My Disney Experience account. Now, no matter what option you choose, you're gonna be paying at least $100 for Memory Maker, which is, is a hefty price, but it's important to keep in mind that you don't need to purchase it for everyone in your party. So it can be a purchase that's well worth the money. And this was my position. It has been my position for quite some time. Now, full disclosure, I had Memory Maker attached to my annual pass back in 2019. I did a major trip to Walt Disney World with my family. It was like everyone came. I was the one who had Memory Maker. I downloaded everyone's photos. I shared them with whoever wanted them. Like I thought it was well worth the money, even though it was included with my annual pass. I kept in mind like how much would this have cost me and was it worth it? And my opinion was yes. And back when I first started Two Foolish Mortals, I wrote an entire post about this, talking about how I do think that Memory Maker is worth the money. But in the past six months, I've had a number of occurrences that has changed my opinion on this um, for a few different reasons. And I wanted to share some of those with you today. So first and foremost, things have changed with Memory Maker since 2019. As some of you may know, the annual passes have changed, annual pass structure has changed. And so rather than having free Memory Maker attached to your annual pass, you do have to pay for it, which I, I mentioned, but I just wanna be very clear about that. Like it's no longer free even to annual pass holders. We had to pay at least $100. I think it was like 99 or $100 to have that attached to your pass. And I wanted it. I wanted it 100% because I wanted to be able to do the photo pass opportunities. I wanted to be able to get the ride photos. Those are one of my favorite things about visiting Disney theme parks um, or theme parks in general. I've always loved ride photos. But in the past six months, I've noticed that the product that was Memory Maker is not the same product that it once was. And my opinion has very much changed as much as I hate saying that um, 
on Memory Maker and whether or not it's worth the money. Not only for annual pass holders, of course, but especially for people, especially for people who are only visiting for a normal vacation. And the reason I say this is because the there well, there are two reasons that I say this. Um, the first is that photo pass photographers are kind of or have kind of been hit or miss in the past six months. And I'm sure that this has always been the case. Um, but I have had more occurrences recently, it feels like, where photo pass photographers are just, like you walk up to them, they're snapping one photo and they're like, here you go. Um, which is not what they used to do. It, it's not been the same experience that it once was. Now, I will say that times have been changing in the past couple months. And this is no doubt related to staffing. I'm sure that as more photographers become part of the program, start working for Disney, you get more enthusiastic photographers, more photographers who are willing to actually take multiple pictures of you or pose you or whatever. Um, I like that. I like the idea of the photographers that are going to do more than just like push the shutter button on a camera. Because um, again, it's advertised as like, have your picture taken by professional photographers. And I think that if you're paying for that, then that's what you should be getting. Your photograph taken by professional photographers, people who are gonna put in effort. I've had some occurrences where that hasn't been the case. And I feel like I should share that and let you know, like sometimes that doesn't happen. Sometimes you may have to ask them to take your picture again uh, in order to make sure that you're getting the shot you're looking for. But the thing that's really been bothering me recently has been the lack of ride photos. Now again, I know that this isn't going to bother everyone, but there have been a lot of ride photos that haven't been going through recently. And I've been talking about this over on different platforms. I've kind of been mentioning it as we chat like at the theme parks every day, but I've been noticing more and more that ride photos are coming through less and less. And the most recent offender of this, which really, really upset me, was Cosmic Rewind. Um, my first opportunity to ride the attraction, which was my first time on like a really new attraction that I was super excited about. I really, really wanted that on ride photo and it never came through. But this isn't the only time that this has happened. I've been on Everest at least four or five times and I have not gotten one on ride photo from that attraction um, in the past, what is it, two and a half months. Um, I have been on test track multiple times. I haven't gotten one ride photo from test track. I have been on Cosmic Rewind three times. I only got one ride photo from that. And I also have been on Tower of Terror recently and I didn't get my ride photo from that. And I want to say this being very clear that I am at Disney all the time. I am on these attractions all the time and I have the ability to go back. So the idea that I didn't get that ride photo is like, okay, well, you could just go back on test track again. You could just go back on Cosmic Rewind again. But when I talk to you guys, I'm always thinking about what the experience might be for someone who doesn't live here. Because I mean, I was one of those people for a really long time. I didn't always live here. I just moved here. And so is it worth having Memory Maker if you're not getting your ride photo? Maybe you only get a chance to ride once. Are you just out of luck, you know? Um, I guess it depends on the person. It depends on your priorities. So that's something I just think you should be aware of. I think that's kind of the weird thing about this conversation is like, on one hand, I'm like, I'm irritated by it. I'm irritated by the fact that this isn't working the way it's supposed to. But on the other hand, I'm like, I'm frustrated for the families who come and want that memory and can't get it because something's not working right at Disney. Now, Disney has a system where if you don't get your photo, they will 
try and find it for you and get it to you. Now, I never really participate in this system because I'm always like, well, you know, whatever. But I wanted that Cosmic Rewind photo. <laughs> so um, I went ahead and I filled out the form and I, I did everything. Now, to be clear, this is not... Um, I mean, I guess it's not the hardest thing to do, but it's not just like saying, I would like my photo. It's a series of questions you need to ask. They ask you to provide a picture of yourself on that day if possible, um, which I am always taking pictures of myself because I'm always chatting with you guys, but that's not something I would necessarily have on hand. Um, they want a full description of who you are and everything so that they can try and find your photo. and. I don't know how long it's supposed to take, but um, I filed that and got a confirmation that they received my request back on June 12th. So, still haven't received that photo yet, but I'll keep you guys updated if I ever do so that you have an idea of how that whole process went. But I have to be honest with you, it's not looking good. <laughs> so. Um, but yeah, this all has me, I, I know this is kind of like me just like blabbing things out into the world today, not really giving you any definitive information about anything, but this is one of those things that I feel like you don't hear a lot of people talking about. Um, and if you are thinking about Memory Maker, specifically because you're thinking about getting Memory Maker for the ability to have things like ride photos, I think you, you need to really think long and hard about that and decide if this is really something you want to invest your money on before your trip. For me, I always, I always want to recommend that you do it before the trip because it's cheaper. But now I'm thinking like maybe don't, which is such a terrible piece of advice too, um, because it's going to cost you more. <laughs> but is it worth buying if you don't have any of the pictures you wanted? It's a question you're going to have to ask yourself, I think. Um, but yeah, I would love to know your stories about Memory Maker and what your situation is, if you've encountered any of this when it comes to Memory Maker. Um, one thing that really frustrates me, like from a personal, personally, it's really frustrating to know that they are not only charging guests for this because they're they're charging guests of course they are for this but the fact that you're paying for it you're paying extra for it now with your annual pass it used to be included um, and it's not working it's another example of literally getting less when you pay more so um, those are just my thoughts for today but I can can you hear the the lawn work it's coming back around so I suppose we better wrap this up. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm really looking forward to hearing your thoughts in the comments down below. I would love to keep this conversation going and hear what your experiences are on this particular topic. But um, for now, I think I'm going to sign off. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you next time. <laughs> Bye.